Yeah, I'm calling it a day because my back's aching. <laughs> but uh, we've got the cross members. We've done a lot of measuring and we worked it out that basically they're going to run roughly there, sort of thing. You know, front and back of the motor. Uh, maybe this one's going to be a bit nearer this way, I think, yeah. Not sure. But I've allowed enough so that I can actually fasten it down because under there it's. The, the chassis member is here, so there is like a an easy access back, so I can bolt it onto it. <coughs> and uh, basically, the the end of the motor is going to end up just here, which is going to be great because then I'll have full access to the motor, and the electrics will come up this way. So it'll be great. It'll be fantastic. Anyway, so I just thought I'd take some pickies. I've cut the metal out. These are the plates. So. The way this is going to work, I'll show you it with one, uh, is basically these are going to be suspended down like that, you see, and the motor is going to be attached to the bottom of that. So there's one there, another one there, and then the same on this side, you see. So that means that the motor is then going to be suspended below those two bars, yeah, on this plate. And I've done some rough sort of testing to see about the strength and uh, I'm quite reasonably convinced that, that you'll need quite a considerable amount of torque before you actually bend these plates you know because of the weight of the motor on them stretching them and that's you know we're talking what a couple of hundred kilos so they're in tension anyway right so it'll have to get over the tension of that plus obviously it'll actually be twisting so it'll be not just lifting it, but twisting it. So I think you've got a considerable amount of power. I'm giving this one here, right? I can't bend that, do you know what I mean? I mean, I've tried earlier, but I can't bend that plate, and okay, that's held at both ends. <laughs> but I think, you know, given that the motor is actually gonna be suspended, pulling, you know, putting the weight on those, plus it won't just be pushing it up, but actually pushing it at an angle, I can't imagine those being bent by uh, this motor <coughs> given the amount of power it has so I think we're okay we need to obviously fasten everything together and uh, yeah and it, if it does I can always just simply you know weld a piece of angle but I want it to be able to be move slightly you see so that as the uh, shaft the suspension goes up and down <laughs> that it will, uh, yeah, the only thing that I haven't, I haven't considered is if you're going to do harsh braking because that will tend to extend the shaft but it's attached, you know, that is attached through that and obviously that's going to be relatively straight to the armature inside this motor, right? So it, it's only the casing of the motor that's going to have any sort of momentum that's going to be affected so you know I don't know anyway it's only a test and like I say this is going to be at 30 miles an hour and I can always take it easy do you know what I mean if somebody runs out in front of it I slam the anchors on and the motor falls off yeah well so what do you know what I mean at the end of the day it's a testing vehicle you know <clears throat> if it was going to be uh, something more considerable I'd probably put a, at the front I'd put a, like a I don't know something that would take the power of the motor the, the weight of the motor forward but I, I still can't imagine there being a problem because that that prop shaft that prop shaft is obviously designed to take a bit of force because it's being twisted isn't it especially when you slap the clutch up do you know what I mean so I can't see that snapping these UJs are the only things that might bend slightly if you slam the brakes on but even that I mean look at the thickness of the metal on that I can't see that happening either you know <clears throat> the only issue I'm thinking about, and this is the thing that I have biggest problem with, is the bearings in there. Because obviously as you slam the brakes on, it's going to want to pull that out. And so as so long as the bearings can take the uh, thrust, because it wouldn't normally, you see, normally because the engine's mounted, you know, closely to the chassis, the, there may be a little bit of movement due to the, um, the uh, engine mounts, the rubber engine mounts, but it's not going to be much. This one's going to be far more powerful, so that's the only issue. But at the end of the day, what I can do is uh, <clears throat> I could just, you know, put a rubber bung on it, 
to uh, fasten it from lateral movement if I wanted to. But I'm not even going to be, you know, I can. this is a testing vehicle. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not that bad a driver. Even though my wife probably doesn't think I agree with that. Anyway, that's it. That mode's not going in tonight. It'll be uh, next time I get to have a go at it, which will probably be Monday. And I've been here 12 hours, so I'm going home and I'm aching. Backache.